Geometry review problem four. If triangle B, C, D is congruent to triangle E, F, G, and you will notice I'm carefully numbering my corresponding parts, C, D is equal to 5x plus 1, and FG is equal to 8x minus 20. What is the length of CD? Well, I don't know anything about the angles, but I do know that CD is congruent to segment FG. Because that is true, that's given. Well, no, it's really not given. It's really corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. CD is 5x plus 1. and FG is 8X minus 20. Why can I make that claim? Well, the, the measurements are given and that's also the definition of congruent parts. We're just going to call it given. Now I need to isolate X. I'm going to add 20 to both sides. I am going to subtract 5x from both sides. Now I'm going to divide each side by 3. And there I go. Am I done? Nope. I am not done. Why am I not done? Absolutely perfect. They're asking me the length of segment CD. So what must I do? Plug I must substitute. Mm-hmm. 5x plus 1 um, is the measurement of CD, if I want to be funky about my notation. x equals 7. 5 times 7 plus 1 is CD. 36 is CD. And that was kind of fun. Let's do another one. This one actually requires perhaps a bit of space, but maybe not. We'll try it with this bit amount of space. If triangle SDR, SDR is congruent to triangle MLN, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then is N M L congruent to R S D three one two three one two? Yes. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Question six. If triangle XYZ, XYZ is congruent to triangle QRP, QRP, XYZ, note how carefully I pay attention to my corresponding parts. One, two, three. Then is Y, Z, X congruent to R, Q, P? Yes. No. 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 Because 
y z x is two three one but r q p is two one three not enough information <laughs>